homage to the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha. Today we're looking at what makes it difficult for us to understand Dhamma. Why do we struggle with understanding Dhamma? And also flowing on from that, why do we struggle with uh, advancing or progressing on the spiritual path, the Buddha's Noble Eightfold Path? The main sutta that we're looking at today is the Anumana Sutta, and it's the Discourse on Inference. It appears in the Majjhima Nikaya, or Middle Link Discourses, and it is Discourse number 15. Now this is a teaching that Venerable Mahamogalana gave to the monks, and it was really about what makes one difficult to instruct and difficult to admonish, therefore difficult to give feedback to, and how that lends itself to make it difficult for someone to understand Dhamma, learn Dhamma, and therefore progress in Dhamma. Likewise, Venerable Mahamogulana gave the opposite, the qualities that make one easy to instruct, easy to admonish, and therefore easy to give feedback to, which lends itself to understanding Dhamma, being able to be taught in Dhamma, and also easy to uh, progress on the path. Now, what we'll find is that there are many benefits in understanding this sutta, in learning the knowledge pathways contained in the sutta. So we'll look at some of those benefits. We'll also look at some of the supporting suttas for this teaching, that in studying any sutta or teaching of the Buddha or the Arahants, it's always good to see whether this teaching or the uh, main components of the teaching are repeated or replicated throughout the Sutta Vidika. And in the case of Anumana Sutta, what you find is that there are many suttas that either intersect or support this teaching, which gives us confidence to practice it. We'll then deep dive into the qualities of what obstructs a person from understanding Dhamma, learning Dhamma, and also uh, progressing on the path. And we'll also look at the qualities that support us or support a person towards understanding Dhamma, learning Dhamma, and then progressing on the path. We'll also go through Venerable Mahamogalana's method for inferring, which is where this Anumana discourse comes from. The name of the sutta is Anumana, and Anumana is to infer or to conclude. So he gives us a method for how we can conclude or measure ourselves, what kind of person we are, what type of qualities. That's quite important because if you can take measure of yourself and come to some kind of conclusion or inference, it's from that point that you can take action towards either adjusting, improving, or continuing in, in terms of one's practice. And then we'll take a look at the importance that Venerable Mahamogalana places on regular review of oneself and there's a simile that he gives towards the end of the sutta and we'll go through that. And then lastly, we'll look at how do we meditate on this sutta. So let's begin. Let's start with an introduction to the Anumana Sutta with uh, who is giving the teaching in this sutta as well as a bit of a bird's eye view of the sutta architecture and what are the comp key component parts of the teaching? Venwu Mahamogalana was the teacher in this Anumana Sutta, and it's useful to refresh our minds about the qualities and distinct features about Venerable Mahamogalana. As we know, he was one of the two chief disciples of the Buddha, along with Venerable Sariputta, and he was renowned for his psychic abilities. In fact, the Buddha uh, praised him as being the foremost at psychic abilities of his noble disciples. What's also known is that Venerable Mahamogalana, along with Venerable Sariputta, they were nearly equal to the Buddha at giving instructions to the monks in order to attain Nibbana. And that's an important distinction for us to take on board as we go through this particular teaching of the Anumana Sutta. What's said about Venerable Sariputta was that he was able to bring people onto the path and to attain the early stages of awakening. But it was also known that Venerable Mahamogalana, through his precise instructions 
um, the refinements that he gave to the students, to the disciples, that enabled them to attain final liberation, to attain Nibbana, to become Arahants. So that's pretty key to note in taking on this instruction from Venerable Mahamogalana. What is also useful to know is that Venerable Mahamogalana, for all his psychic abilities, he was someone that travelled the path and took the, the mode of progress known as Dukkha Patipada Kipabinya, which is painful way with quick realisation. And so during the course of his awakening, he actually received some clear instructions from the Buddha. And this was before he became an Arahant. He was actually experiencing some trouble during his meditation, and that was that he kept nodding off. And there's a sutta that uh, presents itself that shows where he takes instruction from the Buddha. And this is the Pachalaya Mana Sutta, which appears in Anguttara Nikaya, Chapter 7, Discourse 61. And this was clearly before he became an Arahant, and the Buddha gives him uh, seven means as a knowledge pathway to overcome sleepiness, this nodding off. And clearly, Venerable Mahamogalana took that advice and soon after became an Arahant. Before we go into the detail of the Anumana Sutta, it's good to look at the architecture of this teaching to give us a bird's eye view. When you look at the bird's eye view, you see that there are four distinct parts to this teaching given by Venerable Mahamogalana. The first part is from paragraphs 1 to 3, and this is where Venerable Mahamogalana looks at the 16 qualities that makes one duvacho, which is uh, difficult to instruct or difficult to give feedback to. Then you have part 2, which is paragraphs 4 to 5, and these are the 16 qualities that makes one suvacho, or easy to instruct, easy to give feedback to. And then the third part is paragraph 6, which is Venerable Mahamogalana's method of inferring or coming to a conclusion about oneself. And then finally we have part 4, which is paragraph 7 to 8, and this is where Venerable Mahamogalana emphasizes the importance of reviewing oneself and provides a very important simile. A very common question when it comes to this sutta is why it is called Anumana Sutta when the emphasis is usually given to Duvicho and Suvicho being those qualities that make us both difficult to instruct or easy to instruct. But clearly Venvo Mahomogalana has given us a method in part 3 of this sutta which talks about anumana. Now anumana we've translated as inference, being able to infer, but there's also conclusion is another translation which means to conclude, also to come to an opinion about oneself. Um, it could also be deduction which means to deduce, uh, determination to determine, and then finally measurement to measure. And this is an important part of this teaching is there is a method or means for us to actually infer or to come to a conclusion about oneself. And this is particularly helpful moving forward that as you want to progress on the path, you have a means for taking measure of yourself and coming to opinion about whether certain things need to change. And so this lends itself to what Venerable Mahamogalana emphasizes at the end of the sutta, which is being able to regularly review oneself from this particular aspect. <laughs>